the world you are projecting is a wildly different and possibly dangerous world, unless we all have these conversations and say, what is life? This conversation will happen many, every day for the next 20 years. And it's probably more than 20 years, for sure. It might go against yeah. both, <laughs> both of our ethics. You can sit and whine about it, mm -hmm. you know, or you could say, oh, I'll never get out of this trap, or you can pick yourself up and do it. Tonight's show is not to finger point and mock and show how wrong people are. The point I want to stress tonight is, People are actually coming together. We agree on more than we disagree. Welcome to For the Record. I'm Lori Dew. Tonight, we look at a topic that most other networks won't cover. This is a bomb waiting to go off. What happened at Fort Hood was a jihadist terrorist attack. It wasn't workplace violence. It was an act of terror against American heroes. And we need to speak the truth. And we are here with the Duck Dynasty, Duck Commander, Buck Commander family. Your family have been just amazing representatives of family values, of faith. Everything from our perspective goes through our faith. I want you to tell me if my turkey call is bad or good. Oh, oh. Hey, good? No, not bad. Not All right. Yeah, if I become a, a zombie, would one of you just shoot me in the head? Yes. Please. I, I don't want to no eat anybody's brains. No problem. Really Piece of cake. I don't, I don't even know. eat cow don't, brains. Not for me. That doesn't stand for you. I'd, I'd rather eat the brains. All right. I want to make sure I'm staying alive. As a vegetarian, you, you'd go ahead and eat I brains? don't think it's veget. I don't think it, it violates vegetarianism to eat humans. No? No. Okay. Uh, that's just it. It's an <laughs> animal is okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's that's an animal policy. Line. It's an animal-based policy. That's a fine line. So, pretty sure you can eat human brains. Holmes at the blaze. The Senate releasing a bombshell report today detailing the CIA's interrogations of terror suspects held in overseas prisons post 9-11. And American history coming to life in Boston. Crews removing a time capsule dating back to 1795 from the cornerstone of the Massachusetts State House, where historians believe it was originally placed by Samuel Adams and Paul Revere. Earth's crust isn't just one smooth surface. It's kind of cracked into gigantic pieces. And when these pieces or plates crash into each other, parts of the Earth rise up and this is created. But this doesn't happen overnight. In the case of the Rockies, it took 79 million years. an amazing story and I mean it's it, it reads like uh, the greatest action movie of all time and it's an engineering marvel because it moves up to a billion gallons of treated wastewater through the tunnel every day uh, and there's not a single pump or electrical source inside it it's gravity that moves everything dream it 